Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to go ahead and cover a few more questions off of the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB. So let's go ahead and dive right in and let's see what we can learn. Number 21 looks a lot more challenging than it actually is. Company E travels east at 35 miles per hour. Company F travels west at 15 miles per hour. The two companies start out 2,100 miles apart. How long will it take them to meet? Well, if one company is going 35 miles in this direction and one, the other is going 15 in this direction, together they're going to be getting 50 miles closer every hour. So now what we need to do is see how many times 50 goes into that 2,100. Well, 50 goes into 200 for Four times with 10 left over bring that zero down 50 goes into 102 times meaning that our answer here is a Again, 22 is just a bunch of math. So we're following some directions here, but essentially it says that you take a bunch of tests, you get to drop your lowest score. So we're going to be dropping the 64 as the lowest. You then find the average of those tests. To find average, we add those four numbers together and then divide by four because that's how many tests we're averaging together. So if we add those together and divide by four, we're going to end up with 84 as our answer. That's the average for her tests. Well, the final exam, she got a 90 and it says here that the final grade is 50% is this average right here and the other 50% comes from that final. So that means that we're essentially finding the average of these two numbers, 90 and the 84. So if I do 84 plus that 90 and then divide by two, we should get our final answer, which is 87. Answer D. So the key of this question is that Nick sucks at typing. So it says here that Mike types three times faster than Nick. Together they do 24 pages per hour. If Nick learns to be as fast as Mike, how many will they be able to do per hour? Well, let's take a look here. First off, let's say Nick, his number's right here as N. Well, Mike is three times as fast as that, so that means Mike is 3N. Well, if we add their two together, that gives us 4 n which is going to be equal to those 24 pages that they do well if that's the case i can just divide both sides by four that's going to give me that n how much nick types is going to be six now here's the deal mike is three times faster than that so three times six is 18 if nick were that strong 18 as well and we put the two of those together it gives us 36 total pages 24 again is just a lot of work here. We're looking at recycling. These are the number of pounds of each item that we have. We're going to take them to whoever pays us better out of these two for each item and we have to find out the total amount. Because all of these are in cents, the first thing I'm going to do is divide all of these by 100 to get us into dollars instead of cents. And it's also going to give us smaller numbers to work with. Remember dividing by 100, you can just remove the two zeros, moving the decimal over to the left twice. So let's go through. First one would be this seven because that's higher than the six. So seven times 12. 22 is going to give me 154. Then 4 is higher for this one, so 4 times the 14 is going to give me 56. Then we have the 8 is higher here, so 8 times that 31 is going to give me 248. And last but not least, this 3 here, 3 times the 9 is going to give me 27. If we add all of these up, we end up getting 485, which is answer D. Part of the ASVAB is speed, so you have to recognize when questions are far easier than they seem. It says water is coming into a tank three times as fast as it's going out. After one hour, the tank contains 11,400 gallons of water. How fast is the water coming in? Looking at these options, we see 11,400 here, and that's how many we currently have. But here's the deal. After one hour, we lost quite a bit of that. So that means that more than this amount had to go in in order for that to be left over since some dropped out. Well, there's only one answer that's larger than that, so our answer here must be D. Hey guys, that's all we're going to cover for today, but remember, you can always click on any of these videos over here to help you keep studying for your next attempt on the ASVAB.